Parasite is unlike any movie we've ever seen, and that's all thanks to you, Director Bong. Every shot is filmed candidly, and the story itself packs a wild punch. You put your heart and soul into every one of your projects. You even became a temporary vegan while creating the movie, Okja. You enjoy working with the same actors, especially those you form a bond with, and it shows. Parasite just wouldn't have been the same without its cast of marvelous actors. There is so much about the cast of Parasite that we don't know. From their struggles, to their achievements, to their personal lives. Keep watching to find out which South Korean star had to borrow $50,000 from her fellow actors before making it big in the industry. Jessica, Illinois, Chicago. Before Cho Woo Shik became the popular South Korean actor he is today, he spent a large portion of his life in Canada. His family moved to British Columbia when Woo Shik was just 10 years old. The bilingual actor would eventually attend Simon Fraser University. However, Woo Shik felt as though there was something bigger and better waiting for him back in South Korea, and he wasn't wrong. So the humble actor who is known for playing innocent and dorky characters chose to drop out of the university and move back to South Korea. Woo Shik, who will turn 30 on March 26, 2020, always had a passion for acting, and in 2011, he would land a few small roles in South Korean sitcoms. During his time in Canada, Wu Shik chose to forego his Korean name and opted for the name Edward, but his close friends called him Eddie. Although he now goes by the stage name Cho Wu Shik, his South Korean nickname is Wu Sig. <laughs> Cho Yu Jung got her start in an R-rated movie. Cho Yu Jung played the role of Park Yun Kyo in the movie Parasite. The actor is well known for her leading roles in movies like The Servant and Concubine, and the TV series I Need Romance. But making headlines wasn't always easy for Yu Jung. Back in 1997, when Yeo Jung was just 16 years old, she made her grand debut as a model. She was featured as a CC Magazine cover girl, but by the time she was 18 years old, Yeo Jung chose to try her hand in acting. But despite snagging small roles in commercials, music videos, and TV shows, Yeo Jung wasn't making as much noise as she wanted to. She knew that something drastic had to be done, so when Yeo Jung was offered a leading role in their erotic drama titled The Servant, she didn't bat an eye when she read the R-rated script. Many actors had refused the role due to not wanting to film nude scenes, but Yeo Jung knew that this movie would help her step into the limelight, and she was absolutely right. Although it's very hard to believe, the incredibly talented Song Kang Ho is a self-taught actor. Kang Ho, who plays Kim Ki Tak in the award-winning film Parasite, always had a knack for making people laugh. But becoming a professionally trained actor just wasn't on his agenda. Instead of going to school, Kang Ho chose to join a social theater group after graduating from high school. While he didn't fully understand the many layers of acting just yet, Kang Ho was a natural when it came to instinctive acting and improvisation. The aspiring actor began to get noticed after joining Ki Kak Seo's theater company. This led to him being approached by producers who wanted to cast him in their upcoming projects. But Kang Ho respectively declined every single one of these offers because, well, he just didn't feel ready. That is, until he was given the opportunity to work as an extra in the 1996 film The Day a Pig Fell Into the Well. Once Kang Ho felt comfortable accepting bigger roles, despite his lack of schooling, he quickly became a household name. We have yet another fun fact about the brilliant Cho Woo Shik coming your way, and it just might surprise you. Woo Shik, who portrayed Kim Ki Woo in Parasite, is no stranger when it comes to working with the one and only director Bong. In fact, landing the role of Kim in the 2017 film Okja allowed Woo Shik to gain international recognition. But it wouldn't be the first time that Woo Shik made headlines all around the world, as this had happened just one year before the release of Okja, when Woo Shik starred in Train to Busan. It's rare for actors to become famous in all parts of the world, but Wu Shik is on his way to accomplishing just that. And now that Parasite has taken the world by storm, there's no way of knowing which movies the bilingual actor will turn up in. Park Seo Dam has been a staple in the South Korean film industry since her debut in the 2013 film Son Yo. 
But getting to where she is today isn't an easy climb, so Dom is now internationally recognized for portraying Kim Ki Jung in Parasite, which is something she never would have thought possible back when she was a struggling artist. The 28-year-old actor knew that she wanted to be a star ever since she was in high school. She fell in love with acting while watching the musical Grease, but becoming an accredited actor proved to be an uphill battle. Despite her many talents, it took two and a half years of constant auditions for her to land a breakthrough role. According to Glamour fame. So Dom auditioned for dozens of roles every single month, only to get rejected every single time. But instead of admitting defeat, she chose to pursue independent films, which helped her add credits to her name. And before long, So Dom was welcomed into the film industry with open arms. Jessica, Illinois, Chicago. As previously mentioned, Song Kang Ho is a self-taught actor who managed to become one of the biggest stars in South Korea. And it wouldn't be long before Kang Ho took an interest in voice acting. In 2005, Kang Ho voiced Alex the Lion in the Korean dub of Madagascar. Unfortunately, he was replaced by Seung Wang Young in the sequels. Kang Ho is the father of two, and like most parents, he wants the very best for his children. In South Korea, it's important to make your parents proud, which is something children keep in mind when pursuing careers. But despite Kang Ho's wishes, his son Song Jun Pyong chose to become a football player. However, Kang Ho eventually came around to the idea when his son became a defender for the Suwon Samsung Blue Wings. Turns out fame runs in the Song family. While Kang Ho is now an acclaimed actor, his parents might also have had some reservations when they found out that he wanted to become a movie star. <laughs> It is a well-known fact that South Korean men are required to complete a compulsory military service. But Park Seo Joon chose to get his military duty over and done with before pursuing his dream of becoming an actor. Seo Joon, who plays Min in Parasite, began his service in 2008 and was discharged in 2010. And just two years later, Seo Joon managed to land his first ever role in the TV series Shut Up Family. The humble actor has never let fame get to his head, no matter how many famous friends he makes. Did you know that Seo Joon is close friends with V from the South Korean boy group BTS? Oh, and he's also super close with his Parasite co-star, Cho Woo-shik. No matter how famous Seo Joon gets, he remembers where he came from and that once upon a time, he too struggled to land roles in movies. The outgoing actor has reached an epitome of fame and he's just getting started. Lee Sun Kyun is a hilarious actor who is well known for his twisted sense of humor. He scored the role of Park Dong Ik in Parasite and has been growing in popularity ever since. But while Sun Kyun is making headlines in North America, he's already established as a beloved actor in South Korea. In fact, Sun Kyun is so popular, he's recognized by his fans by a nickname alone. He's been coined The Voice by his South Korean supporters. And no, he didn't acquire this nickname as a result of his love for musicals, but rather because he has a unique deep voice that has helped him snag lead male roles in dozens of movies. However, Sun Kyun is no stranger to putting his deep voice to the test. That's right, the actor is a huge fan of musicals. Sun Kyun has a love for theater having been in musicals like Grease and Love, Love, Love. But did you know that back in 2002, Sun Kyun made his musical debut when he was cast as a Brad in the Rocky Horror Picture Show? It isn't uncommon for directors to form bonds with actors who eventually become their go-tos. This is the case for Song Kang Ho, who has worked with director Bong Joon Ho a handful of times. On top of working together in Parasite, Kang Ho and Joon Ho paired up to bring us The Host in 2006 and Snowpiercer in 2013. It was in Snowpiercer that Kang Ho made his debut in an English-speaking film, and just like Parasite, Snowpiercer would go on to bring the actor international fame. The following year, in 2014, Kang Ho would also be cast in the controversial American movie, The Interview. However, his role would be on the small side. Kang Ho had a cameo in the movie playing a soldier watching the interview. Director Bong and actor Kang Ho have known each other for years and continue to work together amicably. But now, let's find out which Parasite star had to borrow $50,000 from her fellow actors just to make ends meet. Thank you. 
Lee Jung-un recently won the Best Supporting Actress Award for her role in Parasite, in which she portrayed Mu Gwang. At first glance, you might think that Jung Yoon has been a famous actor for many years now. However, Jung Yoon only rose to fame in 2013. She struggled to become the actor she always wanted to be until she was 40 years old, but keeping a roof over her head and working part-time jobs proved to be most difficult. So much so that Jung Yoon had to borrow money from three of her fellow actors to continue following her dreams. It took Jun Yoon 13 years to pay back the 50 million won she borrowed, but everything worked out for the actor who would go on to voice Okja in 2017. Who was your favorite character from the award-winning movie Parasite? Tell us in the comments. 10 surprising facts about the cast of Parasite. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time on The Things.